We are ready for the head-to-head -head competition. Les Palat first ranked in the PBA Tour. Had a tremendous season. Pete, an excellent year as well. And what a start today. And the front eight and a winner for Jeff Carter in the first match. His second match. Gets a late tap on number four down. She goes. Yeah, and you heard him tell Wes Malad right before commercial that it's going to take 260 plus to win this match. He says that on this condition. Are you kidding? He's a showman. We know that. Wes Malad, guys, been on TV six times now. He's won twice in his career. This year in Chicago, last year in Denver. Second ever major TV appearance for Wes. Hey. Coming to us from just outside Dallas, Texas. And Randy, we look at this matchup. Pete, so many majors he's won seven. West never has, but just one game, Randy, for West to take his first ever major title. Yeah, I know that Pete's got all the experience when it comes to winning major titles. And, and Pete's done it. He's been there. He's done that. But when your nickname is the Big Nasty, you know, trouble always ensues. I mean, and you see that opening shot that he threw. Especially on this inside pattern where you got to feed it right. Wes Malott could be big trouble for PDW. It does not hook the way he wanted. It's good. It's good. And the two four is up. H real good when you get it right or a little bit right of target on this, isn't it, Norm? Well, yeah, especially on the left lane as we saw Dave DeAntremont in our opening match leave 2 8 after 2 8 after 2 8. He'll make a small adjustment. Get two. It does get right. two. He finished in third place in the 04 World Championships, Ypsilanti, Michigan, the Eastern Michigan University campus. Japan Cup, Taylor, Michigan, Chicago, where he won. Max. Cleveland, where he lost to his good friend Tommy Jones in the final. Medford and the U.S. Open. All TV shows this year for West Milan. He's had a great year. Crunches down all oh, 10 into the pit, shrapnel everywhere on a great shot by Pete Weber. Norm, you're right, big jump to the left, but keep in mind, his break point is still the same. You're looking for that dark strip down the lane at about 43 feet. He's still using that as bank. Oh, a little inside of it and goes high flush. And a ball change, I believe. Off to another tremendous start. I think the other thing that makes the U.S. Open such a prestigious event is the names that have won this prestigious title. Names like Don Carter, Dick Weber, Dave Husted, who won it three times, Del Ballard Jr. won it twice, Marshall Homan, Andy Verapapa, Walter Ray Williams Jr., Wes Malott looking to add his name to that list. With shots like that, it might just happen. Let's check in with the Atonic Edge. It's all about. Wes Malott's release. Watch what his fingers do right here. They're going to go to the left. That's ridiculous. Don't try that at home. And what happens when you do that? Well, it creates rotation like this. And with 16 pounds, 16 pounds, revolutions in speed, nothing's got a chance if it gets in the way. Great look from our crew on the Atonic Edge at Wes's release there. Yeah, it's a big release. He's probably got a whole buck at the break point. Left. Look out. Nearly crosses over. He gets nine. That's lucky. Could have been a disaster there. Just has the 10 pin. You can't miss anymore. That ball starts around the 27th board at the arrows. Goes out to the 12th board. You do the math. That's a lot of that's a lot of boards that you're covering out there. That's the way the lanes played this week. 10 pin for West makes his 12th career TV show today. Last was in Medford this season in January. They lost to Brian Himmler in the semifinals, 209-183. Pete Weber off to another great start as the Turkey begin this match. The final resumes next. Well, I think Pete looks for the front four. Has another. We're going to take a look at the adjustment that Pete Weber made from his first match to this match. 
The match against Jeff Carter, you can see he's around the 23rd board at the Arrows and right over the 10th board at the break point. And now here's the move. 27th board, and this is what's perplexing to all of us in the booth. Norm, he misses left of the break point down the lane, and he goes trip four. Everybody goes through the nose for Brooklyn. Why is that? Because he has side turn without grab. Looks for the front five, guys. Yeah! That's right, baby! Five in a row! Look After at the front. front. Look eight. at these. Some more bennies. He wants more bennies. After the front eight of the first match. He's got that voodoo side roll thing that just makes the ball read so perfectly on this pattern. It's ridiculous. Yeah! That's right, baby! Yeah, plus, he's mean. He is mean. He's meaner than a junkyard dog. That was a control explosion for Pete there. One big fist pump in the elbow. Got a hold of the It does. Great connection there for Wes Malott. Norm, we heard him say a moment ago after he crossed over, almost had the Brooklyn strike. He really can't miss again the way Pete's bowling. Well, I don't think he can. I mean, Pete just announced that he's going to need 260 or better. If he strikes out, he gets 2-6-0. And good luck. First ever championship match in a major for Wes Malott. That's because he qualified first, guaranteeing himself $50,000 second place prize. Biggest paycheck of his career. That's right. He'd like all 100, thank you. That's the big nasty we're talking about. <laughs> big nasty. Cable man. Get oh. you a handful of that. <laughs> Cable man. He really wrenched on that one. But check this out. He, he got it right at that break point, which is where Weber's getting it back from. from. And with all that hand and power, it's going to hook back. This is for six hundred dollars. Can he do it? Oh, a ten pin. On. With a front five, he would have earned six hundred dollars from Motel Six, official lodging partner of the PBA, and would have been eligible for the six thousand dollar bonus. Throws the most front six. More than any bowler on tour. What a day for Pete. Front eight in the first match, front five in this one. As the two seed needs two game wins for the title. And as we see so much on the PBA tour, one guy fires back at the other one. It's just that presence seems to make the other guy flinch just enough to get off the string. Pete Weber with the spare in the sixth frame. Now we have a match. Pete has a title this year, guys. Beat Doug Kent in Buffalo.